a drawer, but you still want to do this project, I'm going to show you the transfer technique. And you take a pencil, crayon works, anything actually works. You color the back of what you want transferred and think of that as your ink. And then you flip it over, center it how you'd like to center it, tape it in place, okay, and then start tracing and press hard. And what that does is it makes a copy of your drawing or your image. So you can do this with anything really. It's a quick way to get things um, onto your paper without having to draw them. The cool thing about the transfer technique is you can use this again. <laughs> so you can make a couple butterflies with it and it will work just fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, the thing about this project that you have to remember is you have to color thick. Okay, so you have to color, you have to press kind of hard. Um, if you don't wanna press hard, oh, I've broken many crayons, but because I pressed so hard that I broke a crayon, broken crayons work too. But if you want to, you just keep going over it and over it until you get a nice, thick crayon. And then just keep going. I'm gonna take a couple different blues here. Oh, that got, looks almost exactly the same. Let me pick a different one. These are Crayola crayons. I love Crayola crayons. Uh, my illustration art is done in Crayola crayon. Um, it's actually, I make papers using Crayola Crayon and then I collage my illustrations. Uh, and Crunchy Not Sweet was my first book. I got another book called I Can't Read. And it's a children's book, but it's also done in Crayola Crayon and watercolor. You, you are gonna get a lot of schnibbles on this. So if you look, I kinda did all blue in that one. and crackle this. Easy peasy, you just take it and crumple it off like you're throwing it away. Okay, I know that's very painful for some of you and sometimes my kids even hesitate before they do it at school, it's kind of funny. Oh, and you know what? Crackle art is unpredictable because look what just happened here. Some of my black, um, kind of went out into my other colors, but you know what? I kind of like that. And sometimes I'll take it and I'll try to rub it a little bit more in some other areas to get it more balanced. So I'm just gonna do this whole thing with the blue screen. Have some tissues or some uh, paper towel with you. Stir your watercolors. Um, I like to tell my students for 30 seconds because you get a nice dark, look how dark that is. Whoops, you can't see it, there you go. And we are gonna do the entire thing. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do the uh, butterfly first. And I'm just gonna do half and then the other half. And you can see if you look really close, it's starting to crackle. I can always add more later, so I'm gonna pull it off. I'm gonna 
take it off of my butterfly in this side. Oh, you know what? It didn't crackle as much, or it didn't go in as much as I wanted it to. So I'm gonna go in a little bit more, let it sit for longer. Be careful, especially if you use um, construction paper, it sometimes crackles really quick. <laughs> Ooh, that crackled nice. Got some crackles right here.